Do you wanna know how to define rebar materials in ETABS as per the Euro code? Do you have any doubts about how you should fill these boxes with the correct values? And what is the relationship of these boxes with the idealized design stress strain diagram of the reinforcing bars? If you wanna find out, please follow me through this video to the end. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, support me with your likes and comments. Thank you. Let's go directly to the video. Well, uh, when you go to the ETAP software, I'm using version 20 of ETAPS, the latest version. So here I'm going to go to define and go to the materials property. From here, I will say, I will go to add new uh, materials. Then I will select the code that the Europe, okay, the Europe. Then I will select the rebar material, okay. You should not here select the steel because this is the structural steel sections you have to go to the rebars and select the rebar now this is the standard the strength and all related parameters will be defined by the user okay now i will say okay here here i have to give the name here okay the name let me call it maybe s 400 i mean this is the steel uh, reinforcement bar that has the characteristic uh, steel strength of uh, 400 megapascal okay here the material type is rebar okay there are a lot other uh, options but you have to select the rebar okay now this is the unit weight the unit weight is almost equal to this one almost 77 or 76.97 whatever so this is fine okay now this as per the euro code it is 200 gigapascal so 200 thousand megapascal okay since this is in megapascal i will use this one as it is like this now this is the main part here that i'm gonna uh, discuss it in this video let me go here now the name that i have given here in the previous part okay so this is s400 so here i will have to describe here again i will repeat it here okay s400 now how do i uh, define the mat the uh, these parameters related to s400 okay this will be our game here now let me explain it like this please follow me so here the material name uh, we said that it is s400 so this part will be replaced by s400 okay automatically now here you have the idealized design stress strain diagram for reinforcing bars okay now here you have points here you have four is uh, four boxes to fill and here you have four points to take it from this chart okay this diagram now this is point one this point one corresponds to this point one and here we have point two and here you have point two now the difference between point one and point two is point one is the design the tensile strength okay this is the tensile strength of the reinforcing bar so this will be the yield strength the design yield strength so this divided by some factor of safety will give you this value okay so if you have here for example we said s400 so fyk means the characteristic strength of the reinforcement is 400 so 400 divided by the factor of safety of, of the reinforcing steel that's 1.15 it will give us this point okay now if i go to this part this part says k times fyk so fyk is already here so there will be a factor k that will be multiplied by this so we get this point and furthermore this will be equal to k times fyk over gamma s this is this point okay so this point multiplied by k will give me this point so this is point three this point three is here it will be inserted in this box and finally this point four and this point four will be inserted in this box now what we have to know is these factors gamma s as per the euro code it is 1.15 and there is k which we have to read it from a table okay depending on the reinforcing bars class okay okay now here for example as per this code the euro code uh, classifies the reinforcement string it considers that the strength of reinforcing bars from 400 megapascal to 600 megapascal now for example as we have taken uh, s400 it means fyk equals 400 megapascal okay now the first box that's number one 
will be 400 megapascal. You, to, you take it exactly this one. Now, the second part will be this one divided by some factor of safety. That's 1.15 as per the euro code. Now, if I divide this one means this one 400. So 400 divided by 1.15, it gives me 347.826. So the second box will be filled with 347.826. The question will be the third and the fourth boxes. This needs a factor K that we have to read it from a table in the Euro code, okay? Now, so K multiplied by two. So these two, these multiplied by some factor will give me this. And the fourth part will be one, this number one multiplied by some factor, it gives me the value here. Now, let me take you to the Euro code, EN 1992. Now, according to this code, the bars are classified into A, B, C classes. Okay, this is the class of the reinforcement. And according to this, okay, according to, to this, the factor K will have these different values. Now, for class A, you have at least, this is the minimum value of K, you have to take 1.05 at least for class A, and 1.08 for class B, and C, 1.05. 1, 5, and it should be less than 1.35. Now, depending on this, we have to know what is class A, class B, and class C. Let me take you to another uh, slide. So, the reinforcing class are classified based on the ductility into these three categories, these three classes, class A, class B, and class C. Class A is these types of reinforcing bars usually very small diameter, they have the lowest ductility. So these are called class A, usually used in this kind of mesh and the fabrics, okay? Like this. Now, class B is the most commonly used one. They have a medium ductility, medium ductility. This is the generally used one in almost most of the construction sites, okay? This is what we generally use. In class C, class C is the highest ductility processing bars, okay? These are generally used in earthquake locations or locations with similar situations, okay? So higher ductility, higher deformation capacity will be there. So these reinforcing bars are characterized with uh, having high ductility, okay? Now, this is the generally used class B bars. Now, if you assume that there are bars that we are using S400 is class B. Let me go now to the table, to the table here. I will take class B because it is the medium ductility bars. So for this, it has to be greater than or equal to 1.08. So you may take 1.09, 1.1, and so on. So for this example, I will take 1.1 K value. Now, accordingly, I will go and calculate this box and this box. We said that this box, box 3, equals this box times k. It means 1.1 times this, so I get 382.6086. Similarly, the fourth box will be the k fa uh, factor multiplied by this second box, that is box 1. So this is 1 means 400 megapascal, so 1.1 times 400, this gives me 400. 40 megapascal. Now, accordingly, I will go there and now I will insert the values. Now here, the grade is S400, so I will insert it here. Now I will start with the first one. The first one is 400, exactly this one. Now the second one will be this 400 divided by 1.15, this is 347.826. And the third one will be this one multiplied by 1.1 by the K. So this is 382.6086. And the last one will be this one multiplied by 1.1 because the factor that we have taken is 1.1. So this will be how you will insert the values. Now let me directly take you to the ETABs and fill it uh, manually. Now this is my uh, the one that I've already started. So we said that we have to start with the first one, okay? So FU, it is 400. So I will go here and I will write type in 400. 
the second one will, will be the second one will be 400 divided by 1.15 because this is the factor of safety so i will say enter then i will get this value now this one will be this value times 1.1 or times k so i can say maybe copy up to here okay copy here then here i will say 1.1 times paste this one enter so i get the same value here and here this one will be this box times 1.1 so 1.1 times 400 i will say enter now the reinforcing bar uh, parameters the string parameters are now defined and everything is now okay and by this we finish inserting those values that we have been talking about so please if you have liked the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video please comment if you have any questions write in the comment box thank you for watching see you next time